Well, it's Thursday and I'm doing my volunteering at the National Trust here at Fulton Palace. It's such a warm day. It's really weird. There's still so much colour in the garden. It's absolutely beautiful though. It's really nice. Let's go for a tea break now. I've now got a load of new fabrics in stock for Christmas so I'm selling these ones by the Fat Quarter and if you buy two Fat Quarters you'll get a full half metre of fabric and if you buy four Fat Quarters you get a whole metre of fabric that's how it works on the listing so if you want more than just a Fat Quarter just order um, at the right amount of fabric so we have got the beautiful Robin fabric isn't that gorgeous it's absolutely stunning that's sewed well so far. I've got some really cute little reindeers just on a plain cream. Sometimes I just like really simple fabrics. And then we have got a beautiful one here with doves on it. It is a faded look to it, so it's really nice. I really like that one as well. And then we've got some cute little robins wearing their knitted jumpers. And it's got some knitted detail on it as well. So I thought all the knitters out there would love those ones. So. Those are just a few of the fabrics in my shop. I do have other Christmassy fabrics, so I'm going to show you those as well. These are some of the other Christmassy ones I've got. I love anything metallic, so these both have some metallic detail. And of course, I've got a good range of dots there as well. This is a new one. You can just see it's got like a gold thread through it. It's got such a nice shimmer. I love that one as well. And I've pulled out some others because Christmas doesn't just have to be the obvious kind of colours. We've got some more pale pale green dot and a blue dot and then these sort of icy blues which I think are quite wintry as well and um, they will go with quite a few of these other ones that I've got here and what have I done with the other one there it is yeah so they, they will all go and then I've even got the plain linen stripe and I've got a dot as well so everything goes you can mix and match and put some really gorgeous combinations together there as well so they are all listed in my Etsy shop now so hop on and have a look if you want to do any Christmas crafting with some fabric. I've been having a play with a die cutting machine luckily my mum had one so I managed to get a shot of it and I've just been having so much fun making some really cute little shapes. So we've got little houses, I love the stags they come out great, trees, stars, all sorts of things, I've been having so much fun. Um, I also cut out some circles and stars here which I've strung together using my sewing machine. I've just made some little garlands which I'll show you in a minute. They look amazing. And then you can do things like emboss as well. So I have been in my element as you can imagine. Stay tuned for some Christmas um, journaling, scrapbooking, paper crafting things that I have got coming up. Um, yeah, I'm 
thinking at the moment, still in the thinking stages, trying to plan, but I'm thinking something along the lines of some nice Christmas journaling and maybe like a little journal along with me, journal your December or your Christmas, something like that. I'm just trying to put some things together just now, but stay tuned here and probably more so on my Instagram for more information. finally have a finished pair of socks to show you. These are called the Mountain Socks which is a free pattern by Rachel Nutting and it's just now that I'm holding them at this light I can see where the mountains come from. There are sort of little peaks isn't there? I didn't see that before but now I get it. Um, so yeah fairly nice and simple knit and I just did a contrast toe. It's maybe a little pinker than it should have been but there are some pink flecks in this yarn not quite sure what the yarns are. I'm going to see if I can get this one off and show you the sock when it's not on a blocker. So when this pattern's not on a blocker, it's a really nice sort of squishy pattern, like all little bobbly bits. But when you wear it and when it's on the blocker, the pattern kind of stretches out a bit. So yeah, I wish it was a bit more textured when it was on my actual foot. I do 30 stitches now. Because um, I find that, or 60, because I find that 64 is just too much but maybe then for the legs I should do it so that the pattern isn't stretched so much so that's something that I need to bear in mind next time I'm doing a pattern that has quite like a, a, a sort of squishy texture to it that it will get stretched out but I'm pleased that they're off the needles and um, yeah I've now got another pair on of course.
burnt my tongue when I was making my coffee. It's a, re a really strange story, I won't go into it, but yeah, I burnt my tongue. Um, it's really sore and I just know that that's going to hurt for a few days now. Anybody got any remedies for a burnt tongue? Probably should have stuck it in milk or something. Um, yeah, I was having a wee coffee. Um, and just adding some rose onto my vanilla socks. I just crave vanilla. As much as I think that I like patterned socks, oh, vanilla, when you just haven't got the time to sit quietly and concentrate, it's just the best, isn't it? When I mean, you just want to sit and do a few rows because my hands cannot sit still, ever. So I cast these on the other day. Um, I just have been using yarn that I've got. As you know, I'm not a, ma a massive yarn purchaser, but sometimes people... Um, give me yarn or send me yarn or whatever so i do have a little small stash and i chose this one it's knitting up really really pretty it looks a little bit sort of dingy on camera but it's got nice sort of lilac-y purpley bits which i am realizing i do like lilac and purple i didn't think i did but i i am liking it i chose another little mini ball that i had this is, i know the bottom one is a fine fish yarns um so I chose that one to add in a bit of contrast and I've just added a few different rows, just made it up as I went along. Both socks are the same um, and I'll probably add in, I don't think I'll do a contrasted heel, I'm not sure, oh I'm so indecisive. But maybe when I get to the top of the sock I will do a few of the contrast rows again before I reach the cuff. And I'm not sure, yeah I'll just do them random. I was going to do them like mirroring the pattern here but I'm just going to do it random. Um, so yeah, I just need to decide if I want a contrasted heel or not. I'm nearly at the heel. Um, I've just put... Oh, that was really clever, wasn't it? I've got a stitch marker here and a stitch marker here. And I know I put a stitch marker somewhere the other day when I measured and I only had an inch left to knit. Which one was it? That was clever, wasn't it? And they're both at slightly different spaces, different places. So that... It's a good example of where my head is at right now. So much going on. Um, we are in week, this is Friday today that I'm filming and this is week one of our October holidays. We get two weeks here in Scotland. So my son will be off again next week. So we've had a really busy week. Um, the week before this one, I had a really busy week. I just seem to have like things in my diary, appointments and meetings and you know, whatnot which I just find exhausting, even though they weren't big things. Just the fact there was something in the calendar every day was just, oh, I find it so tiring. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't actually knitted for a wee while because so I've just been so tired, but got all my jobs done today on a Friday. I'd give the house a little bit of a blitz. And today I have finally um, sent off the first of my Christmas boxes, which is always a huge sigh of relief. Um, the boxes this year are bigger, like physically, the cardboard box is bigger, so it means that I'm limited as to how many I can take to the post office at one time. So um, you will receive a shipping notification if you've ordered one sometime over the next week because by the end of next week they will hopefully all be out, all the ones I've, all the orders I've received. Um, there are still some left in my shop so if you'd like to treat yourself or if you'd like to ask someone else to get you one if you know your partner or your friends or whatever don't know what to get you for Christmas you could get one of the boxes a nice surprise um, so if you order one now they will be sent out the same week you order them there'll be no wait um, but you'll have to tuck it away somewhere and not peek until Christmas um, my boxes are not advent boxes as such but you can choose to open them as and when you like. I know most people um, save them to Christmas Day, but if you wanted to open, um, you probably manage two presents a week throughout December, and then you might have a little extra one to open on Christmas Day. You could do that, or open them whenever you want. But make sure it's December, no peaking early. Um, so yeah, they've gone out today, the first lot, which always feels good. Um, my head is sort of working at a million miles an hour trying to think about other things I'm going to do. I think I'm going to offer a smaller sized Christmas mystery box as well. So that one is kind of a deluxe version, I guess. It's bigger and obviously more expensive. So I may order or offer 
a, a smaller version, which I do tend to do most years. You'll get the project bag and a yarn mini and um, some other smaller items. Um, I do have extra items that have gone into the, my Christmas boxes. So if I do smaller boxes, you will get an item that is in the Christmas box. So depending on what um, I have left, you might either get one of the larger, sort of more higher value items, or you might get a couple of the smaller value items. I keep looking at the wrong side of my phone. I've got it in the tripod the wrong way. I normally have it flipped the other way, but I've got it flipped the opposite way, and I normally look over there, but today I need to look over there, and I keep looking over there, so sorry if I'm looking at the wrong bit. Um, and I'm also planning, plotting, trying to decide um, some journaling bits. I've got a really fun idea for Christmas, um, sort of journal along with me kind of thing. So I'm just putting bits together for that and um, I haven't had the brain space to think about that this week, but I just need to sort of finalise that and decide what, what, what sort of package I'm going to put together, sort of how big and stuff like that. I have got been ordering lots and lots of bits to go in them so I'm really excited about that and I would really like to get back into my journaling I've sort of dipped in and out this year um, and recently what I've been doing is just having to play about with a really small selection of supplies not having a specific photograph to add which is what I normally have done and just having to play and I've really enjoyed that and I find that there's no pressure because I'm not going in with a pre sort of plan of right, I've got this photograph and I have to make a page that matches the photograph. I'm not doing that. I'm just picking out supplies that I want to use at that time and putting them together. Um, and I've really been enjoying that and really like the results as well. And it's so relaxing. And I've also managed to do bits like that in say like a 20 minute slot, which has been great. Um, so I think that might be the way forward for me because I just don't have the time to devote to, you know, I, I don't have hours and hours to spend doing that on a on an afternoon. So that might be how I'm going to go forward a bit more. And I would really like, I've never journaled Christmas before. And I don't even think I've done any Christmassy pages. So I think maybe this year that might be something that I, I'm going to try and do. So if you would like to do that along with me, stay tuned because I'm going to put together a really beautiful pack. And the idea behind it is like what I've just said about sort of having a capsule pack of supplies that you just use that, you know, you don't need to worry about all your other supplies. And if you're anything like me, your supplies will all be mixed up anyway and things are all mixed in together, all the different themes and stuff. And I don't, I find that sometimes that is what puts me off the fact that I would have to go looking for, you know, a specific Christmassy packet of stickers or whatever I had in mind, papers and stuff, whereas I just want everything in one place. And also I love the idea of maybe coming down and journaling in front of the fire or at the dining table. And if I have like a capsule pack, I can do that easily. I can just pick it up and bring it down. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. And I'm also now thinking that I could put it all in a pretty little basket or something. That would be nice, yeah. Okay, thanks for helping me decide on that. That was a really good chat. That was really helpful. Your input's been great. And um, yeah, I needed to just chat that out with someone. So thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think about that idea. And obviously you don't have to buy one of my packs to join in. Join on your own stuff. But I will be putting packs together. Packs are going to include a really nice um, craft journal refill, which are like the traditional traveller's notebook refill sizes. Should have brought one to show you. Um, so you can start this from scratch if you have got no supplies, if you're a beginner, or even if you're like me, you've got plenty of supplies, but you just want, you know, a nice fresh pack of goodies to start with for Christmas. Um, so yeah, they will include everything that you need, really. Yeah, and if you want to add in your own photographs, of course you can. And I always find the things like Christmas especially, um, it's really nice to use additional things like, say you go somewhere nice and you've got a ticket, you can add that in, you know, if you go to a pantomime or 
whatever, um, even the packaging on some little Christmassy snacks and treats and things is sometimes really nice. I've been trying to incorporate that into my journaling lately as well. Just any nice packaging that I see, I keep it and yeah, just pretty things that catch my eye. Um, I am a bit of a, a wombo that way I guess, but if I can use them in my journal then I don't feel like it's a waste of time. So yeah, it's, it's just worth bearing in mind little things like that that you can, you can always spot if you keep your eyes open and look at things slightly differently. Um, so yeah, that's turned into a really long chat about the journaling things. They're not, yeah, as I said, they're not up for sale yet because I haven't quite put them together. Um, so stay tuned. Instagram's going to be the best place to get any updates on that. Not only did I manage to cast off a sock project in the past few weeks, um, I did finish another wondrous dishcloth. I think it's this one. I've got, look how nice that little stack is. You would not pick those colours for me in a million years, would you? But that is just, oh, there's a little bit of sunshine in there. There's a little bit of autumn in there. Beautiful. Um, I think the gold was the most recent one. So finish that one. Is anybody else just like not even using their dishcloth yet? They just want to keep them looking all pretty. I think the one of the kind of, um, goals is that you can have a nice photo of them all finished and if you use them then you're not going to get that that's what i think anyway but yeah finished the gold one because i had a few projects on my needles including the socks that i finished and it was just like i just needed to get them off get them off the needles i did have plans to do more dishcloths um and i still do but obviously i haven't got around to doing them yet i would also like to make one maybe more square because you know what it's like when you're cleaning um like these would be great for windows. I do have another cotton handmade crocheted one that I made and I do that on my, I use that for my win windows and the mirrors. They are the best thing ever for windows. But um, I just think if this was bigger, then you know, cause you, you get it dirty, then you fold it over and you use another bit and then you fold it over. So if it was bigger, that would be even better. So I'm gonna have a go at making it slightly bigger. And then I thought I'd like to try different textures as well, but I don't know what so I had a look in a book I've got but um yeah I'm not sure I do like them having the double thickness I think that for me definitely that is the way forward so even a sock pattern would work for that wouldn't it because you're knitting in the round so yeah something with a good texture would be great even just a a rib or a broken rib I think would work really well so I might uh, yeah I might try something like that but to be honest you know we're near it's the middle of october then we've got november and then we've got december that's not going to be the time for trying out some new idea is it i'm going to be far too busy doing other stuff and i want to make all the christmas stuff so that will remain a little idea seed in there for some time probably um another thing that i quickly made i just i wanted to make a few little things so i made a little pumpkin it's very cute isn't it i love the stock it's just got a perfect bend in it it's so pumpkin like um i just made the pattern up it's just basically a cast on as if i was casting on a sock so as if i was casting on a cuff um joined it in the round and then just did it ribbed i think i did i had 50 stitches because that's how many i got with the tail of the yarn the way that i cast on and i divided the pattern by 50 so i think i got was it knit four, purl one or something? That fitted into 50. So I did that and then as I neared the top, I just started to do a few decreases every now and then, no specific pattern to it. And then I threaded the yarn through the remaining stitches and pulled it in to cinch it together and then just took it down. Did I do the same at the bottom? Oh yeah, with the bottom one, I just cinched it in as well and then made it as pumpkin-like as I could and I did an eye cord for the stock and then just did random increases until I got it rounder again at the bottom there so I could attach it and I do know that um I know what pumpkins look like on the plant so I think that's pretty realistic looking other than the fact that I think my pumpkin looks like a peach I'm a little annoyed at that I should have maybe picked a darker orange but yeah, I still love it. It's got a little stitch marker on it, a little mummy. These are so cute. I have, I think I've got about three left in my shop. So if you'd like one, hop on over there now. And I thought I really want one for myself. So that's my one. And he or she is just living on the pumpkin for now. 
but I'm really pleased with that. Very cute. And yeah, I think I like the stock more than anything. Um, so yeah, no major plans. Just going to carry on with some vanillas, I think. I have got some plans for Christmassy socks. I've got yarn bought, bought it last year, um, probably in December. So too late to cast on last year, but it's been wrapped up and tucked away so that I couldn't peek at it. And I'll dig that out this year, uh, ready to cast on in December. And I've also got pattern ready as well. Um, it's by Sock Witchery and it's called maybe String of Lights. I can't remember what it's called. I will put in a photo if I find it. So I've got that ready for my December cast on. And what usually happens is that I want a vanilla cast on in December as well. So if that happens, I'll just choose some other yarn and do something Christmassy, but as a vanilla. Um, although the pattern that I've chosen, I think, is a pretty simple pattern. So hopefully I can manage that. Oh, I um, had a really good response to my last video, which was a week in the life with me. Um, so thanks if you left a comment for that. So many of you said you enjoyed that so much. So that was really good to know because I wasn't sure whether it would be interested in the slightest. Um, but it, it turned out well and I'm really pleased with how it turned out actually. And it's really nice for me to do things like that. And then I can always look back on them in years to come as well, which I think would be really nice to do. Um, the only downside was that by the time I had got all the footage ready, and sat down on, I think it was a Sunday afternoon to edit it. There was over, well over three hours worth of footage. So I had to sift through all of that. And by the time you watch it all and decide what, what gets kept, what gets cut out, and then edit it and put music in and all that kind of thing. Oh my goodness, the editing a bit alone must have taken me at least, I don't know, like four or five hours maybe. Oh my gosh, it was such a big job that slightly put me off a bit but it was worth it because it was a good video <laughs> um so yeah maybe do that again i might do some things like that in december i'm not quite sure whether i'm going to manage to vlog every day and do vlogmas but i would like to do something so whether it is a week in the life or just a few days here and there put together we'll see um i'm not going to make any decisions right now i think i'll just get to december wake up and decide what i'm in the mood for doing um, I have got some food in the oven just roasting away, I've got some butternut squash, onion, pepper, garlic, I put some cumin over it and I'm just going to dig around the fridge, see what else I've got in there and just make a big nice veggie soup I think, I'm just going to have that for my dinner, feeling a bit out of my cooking mojo at the moment, stuck in a rut again so I need to dig out some of my favourite cookbooks and find some nice nice meals but um, hopefully I'll find some nice winter warmers, autumn and winter warmers that would be lovely. Um, so yeah I think I've caught you up, I mean my my time at the moment has really been taken over with Christmas boxes as it always is every year, um, hopefully over the next few weeks I could do a few different things and there are still some autumn sort of Halloween-y bags in my shop if you would like one of those go and have a look. There's a couple of Snoopy items left as well. There are the new Christmas fabrics and there are the Christmas boxes. So if you'd like a Christmas box, go and order yourself one, treat yourself, treat a friend, whatever. Um, and I'll catch up with you soon. Hopefully it won't be so long. But um, yeah, I don't feel like I had much to chat about or show you, but I seem to have chatted for long enough. So hopefully, hope that was interesting. Anyway, um, I'll see you all soon. I keep looking at, still look at the wrong side of my phone. Um, so I'll see you soon. Have a good autumn. Bye.